Hey fans, we're here with Coach Powell from the University of Pittsburgh, the running back coach here with NUCSports.com at the New Jersey Sports Showcase. Coach, how are you feeling today checking out all this great talent from New Jersey? Uh, a little bit overwhelmed. There's, uh, there's quite a few kids here. And so you have to really be on your P's and Q's because you've got a short period of time to try to determine whether or not a kid is, a, is in your caliber, your caliber player. Do you think you can find out about one of these kids in, in such short notice in just one day? Or what, what really needs to stand out for this kid to say, hey, we need to stay focused on that kid? Well, it may be a kid that you don't know anything about that does something that catches your eye, and then you can go back and do more investigation. And it may be there's a handful of kids here that we know we have information on, and then this camp would either solidify uh, the, the information we have or or we will determine we need more information after this. Okay. Um, Coach Powell, we've been talking to a lot of the coaches here about having an underclassman NFL draft combine for sophomores and juniors to kind of gauge where they are going into the NFL because everybody wants to jump into the NFL. What are your thoughts about having an underclassman NFL combine? Oh, I don't know how I feel about that, you know. We're, we're, you know. What the NFL does is kind of, you know, it's a lot different than what we do. Um, you know, what do the NFL coaches think about it? Do they like it? Well, you know, we're starting here today with the college guys, and we will catch the NFL once we get to their camps when they open up. You know, uh, it just seems that a lot of the younger kids want to come out sooner, and uh, we're just trying to get some feedback from what, what you coaches think that, you know, some are, are for it and some are against it, and just... What are your thoughts on it? Are you, would you be for it? To, I mean, just think if you were a sophomore playing at Pitt or a junior, would you want to see where you are, engage where you would be possibly for an NFL career? Well, you know what, I, I think that uh, if it helps the kids, I'm all for it. But I think most most of the kids, uh, once they submit their information to the NFL, they'll, they'll get a pretty good read back. But my experience tells me once a kid has made up his mind he wants to go, uh, if he's made up his mind he wants to go and he goes to your combine and he doesn't, he doesn't measure up pretty, very good, he's still going to go. Um, so, again, the NFL has, um, you know, benchmarks, and the kids submit their information, and they give them pretty good information. And, and I heard some statistics uh, just a few weeks ago about how many, how many underclassmen came out that didn't get drafted. It's a little bit disheartening. And that's are, why we're kind of trying to feed back to see – we, we, we want to help the kids, you know? You know, it seems to me that the kids, if they wanted good information, they would get it from the NFL. And most times the NFL, you know, we have kids that submit paperwork and they say fourth round, fifth round, and it's really probably not worth going. Uh, some kids have financial hardships. They have situations at home where they, they're forced to go. Um, um, but in most cases, I think that they would get pretty honest information from the NFL once they submit their paperwork. Okay, so you got Pitt, you have Penn State, but now you also have Temple to, to recruit against because Temple is up and coming. Sure. We see it, we see it with the coach. Uh, what, what, what are some of the new, the new ideas or new techniques that the University of Pitt are coming up to keep some of the local talent local there at the University of Pitt and not go to Penn State or Temple? Well, you know, we've got, um, we've got a pretty good product we're selling. We're selling a lot of history. Uh, we're very good academically. We've got a young football team that plays exciting football. Uh, Pittsburgh is an exciting town. It's a football town. It's oh, a sports it is. town. Yes, it is. Um, you know, and uh, the Penguins are ready to win the cup tonight. Hot, then, then, right. get, show tomorrow, Coach. Tomorrow. Show this. Show <laughs> Coach. Give everybody a shout out. He's a Penguin fan. He got excited when I mentioned the no Penguins. Penguins. If you can get, if you got a thousand bucks, you can get you a standing room only ticket. Standing room only for that game. I know. And it's possible that this could be the first time that the Penguins can win the cup yeah, at, home. at home. And it's fun because it is a sports town. And, and Pittsburgh, if they if they are to win it, I really wish they win it in Pittsburgh. They'll have a great night there. But. Uh, but uh, getting back to our college game day today here in our showcase, New Jersey's talent is above and beyond, just just as great as Florida and Texas. So um, I really wish you lots of luck today, Coach thank Powell. You. We want to thank you for your time. Appreciate it. And uh, growing up in the 80s, I was a big Pitt and Marino fan. And uh, I have a little something in my heart for Pitt because in my college yearbook on the bottom of my photo, I put University of Pitt because that's where I, I did want to attend. <laughs> Well, it's a good school. You know? It's a good school. And I, you know, again, they've had some 
you know, you walk down our hallways and see the pictures of former players, and you can't you can't believe some of the guys we've had. So we've got good history, and uh, you know, we're trying to put it together the right way. It takes a little bit longer when you do it the right way, and ultimately, we want to play in the ACC championship game and get in the. Uh, in the uh, NCAA playoff there. So that's what we're trying to get done. Well, I wish you lots of luck, Coach Palawan. Thank, Thank you man. for your time. Good luck today at the showcase with all this great talent. This is Miami Mike coming to you live with NUCSports.com. Oh, baby. Game on.